Is that you? JP? Yeah. What up, buddy? This cop keeps putting his high beams on me, man. Getting pissed at him. Which is funny, because they, uh... Still they got upset about my flashlight earlier. <laughs> they did? Yeah, they were like, yo, you're blinding us. I'm like, yeah, hey, sound familiar, you asshole? I did a video of one doing it purposely three times in my face. <laughs> I've got the video of them doing that, so I'll give that one to you. So next time they do that to you. What the fuck is wrong with my radio tonight? You got, you're receiving, oh, that's that KPD. Um, I got, uh... State police and county sheriffs on here too. Okay, that's what you're hearing. That's what we're hearing. That's probably what you're hearing. Yeah, I just don't like them making 20 grand a week off these kids. This isn't even the big night, Chris. Next weekend's gonna be the big night. This is just fresh. Yeah. Y'all yeah, give us a couple of class men and we're not really here yet. It's gonna be. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see these streets. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be out here with you, buddy. I, I didn't realize this shit was happening like this. Yo, uh, yeah, it's, I've been doing this every year, man. And the scenery is good too. You got flyers and all? Yeah, you need some. Just hand them to these guys. You know, I'll hand. I'll take some of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got rid of like over a thousand of them today. Dude, well done. I kind of fucking joked on the radio before. You guys know your rights are dealing with the police? Yeah, I got it. Actually, can I take another yeah, one? Yeah, take another one, man. Give it to your friends, man. Seriously. I appreciate it, man. good work, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, I, I know you, you, you didn't realize, you know, how many kids are here. Because the number can seem outlandish until you actually oh yeah. here. Last year we got rid of more than that. It's like 3,200 I think we ordered. Yep, like literally walking across the street. I did. Hey, you guys know your rights when dealing with the police? You guys gave me like nine of these last year. I'll take another one. Take another one, give it to your friends, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Up, Good. Good seeing oh, yeah. you. Where you guys from? From uh, Fitchburg, Mass. Okay. Legal. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're uh, we're handing out these flyers about knowing your rights when dealing with the police. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're recording so like, the police when they here. fuck with people and stuff. You know, that's kind of the idea. You ever heard of cop block? Yeah. Yeah. I, you guys was, you got the flyer in your hand. You I said was you got one. Yes, last yeah. Year. yeah. I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> you were over every weekend. Yeah. Winchester Court. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is a good guy to know, man. He's a hard worker, man. He's out here trying to keep these motherfuckers accountable. And then, you know, without people like him, God knows what the fuck they'd be doing out here, you know? Yeah, you should, you should let me put my bag at the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you can dress up, man. Yeah. I appreciate you guys helping him out, man. He's, he's one of the hardest workers we got, man. He's, he's Sir, do you know your rights when dealing with the police? Do you know your rights when dealing with the police? This is uh, this is like just an electronic cigarette. I'm not. Ladies, you know you know your rights when dealing with the police. Got some information for you here. It's important to know. I'm not dealing with the police at all. Well, I don't hope you don't. But if you do, that might come in handy. You know. So. All right, I mean, if you want to give it back to me, you can, but I'd encourage you to just, I don't know, leave it on this fucking desk, you know? Yeah, I'm back on Winchester Street. Giving out flyers. I'm back on Winchester Street. Blake, what is this street? This is Winchester? Ian's out Winchester. Uh, free Talk, uh, uh, Brutalist and Dapper Dan and Centurion are on the corner of Winchester and Blake uh, handing out flyers and chatting with people. Uh, yeah, Brutalist and Dapper Dan and Centurion are on the corner of Winchester and Blake handing out flyers and chatting with people. 
Which way is what Ian described? Is it that way? Yeah, he's in the camp campus somewhere. He, he, the campus. he said he's on Winchester. This is Winchester. Yeah, yeah, so he's coming towards us. You're going to go find him? All right, then I'll stay here. Yeah, how they do with Kansas today? Wait, you're right, because how can you move in? Krasowski kicked the fucking 61-yarder. Krasowski? Yeah. Oh, he Six. played? Yeah. Who did a 61-yarder? Uh, Dapper Dan is heading towards you. Something. I'm staying here on the corner of Blake with Centurion. Because you know when they're in a huge game. Uh, uh, Dapper Dan is heading towards you. I'm staying here on the corner of Blake with Centurion. Wow, that repeated late. Why do you gotta read this shit already? That's fine. Kind of, I'm so used to being green with his name on it. Hey, buddy. So, so what's on the scanner? Is there I had a guy come out to me. I've been trying to break, to break my so camera I don't get a chance, but I do have it on. And then he came up and was Actually, like, look, I'm really sorry I tried to break your camera. I didn't realize we were here to help us. I thought it was going to turn around. I didn't see any sheriff, but I did see State police are pulling people over yeah. on, uh, on the main routes around here. Yeah. They've been hitting people all day. Oh, dog got hit on every night. Keep moving, guys. Yeah. Yeah, someone hit a dog on every night. That's the do you know your rights when dealing with police? Definitely a victim. What? Do you know your rights when dealing with the police? Um, not really, but I don't really deal with them, but thank you. Well, I hope you never have to, but that might come in handy someday, I so. It. Thank All you. right, take care. I'm going to go uh, I'm going to go back up in. All right. You know your rights when dealing with the police? Huh? You know your rights when dealing with the police? I know to call you guys. Well, I don't know that there's a phone number that you can call, but that's important information to know. And, and if we are around, we'll definitely come to help you out. Okay, bud? Sounds fantastic. You have yourself a wonderful Thank you. Evening, man. you as well. Ladies, do you know your rights when dealing with the police? Yeah, I just got it. Uh, excellent. Great. Thank you. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. I am working on catching up to you. Uh, free talk. I am working on catching up to you. Has another person? What was that? What was that? That was the Matt Griffin on the bike. He uh, got another person. He uh, got another person. Ladies, you know your rights in dealing with the police? Politicians anyway. No, no, no. Hey, 
Thank you guys. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. You guys got Twitter? Twitter and all that? What's that? Twitter? Yeah, you can follow Clapblock on Twitter. Um, I'll do that. If you, if you do that, you, you follow them long enough, you'll love, find us individually and stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's, 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 there's a lot going on, man. I mean, we're involved in a lot of yeah, different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of fun. I love that you guys got involved yeah, in stuff. No way. This, this, this is really cool. I like this show. It's, it's, we have so much fun. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Constitution Why anymore because well, Lysander like, yes, Spooner was right. And he said that either the Constitution has authorized the tyranny we have or it's been powerless to prevent it. Either way, it's unfit to exist. You guys with Ron Paul? I like Ron Paul. I voted for Ron Paul in the Republican primary, uh, and, and I think that he was the least of all evils that has been seen in any election in the last hundred years. Definitely. He was thinking of the JFK, seriously, he was. I believe that he won. I think he was a lot better than JFK, actually, but, but the thing is, though... The evidence is that elections don't solve problems, you know? We've had elections for 240 years in this country, and we're at the largest, most powerful government that listens to all of our phone calls and reads all of our emails and is in literally more wars than I can keep track of. I don't even understand how many military conflicts are ongoing. It's crazy. So the thing is, like, what, do I, what, what is the evidence of the Constitution? What is the evidence of this government? The evidence is it doesn't work. And the truth of the matter is, if you study economics... Is this, economics, with, is this with conspiracy? What was that? Are you with conspiracy and all that? I still get a little bit of So, like, here's what I say about, like, conspiracy. Yeah, all right. The government lies to us all the oh, fucking time. So, like, absolutely. It's like 9-11 the first thing these assholes told oh, us the no, truth yeah, about? Yeah, Probably yeah. not. But at the same time, like, I'm not convinced that, like, uh, George Bush used a uh, remote control airplane to take down the towers, right? Like, like, there's somewhere in between the conspiracy story and the official story. Somewhere in between there is the truth. And I don't know what the fuck it is, and I don't think I ever will. But I know these people lie. They'd kill you if you knew. Yeah, exactly. The second, second I figure it out, I'll be a dead man, right? Absolutely. So the idea is, like, I'm happy to watch, like, InfoWars and Alex Jones and stuff. I'm, I'm happy to watch them poke holes in the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't buy their conclusions yeah, necessarily, you know? So if, if that makes me a conspiracy theorist, then I'm a conspiracy theorist. But, you know, some, some people say that, uh, that this is, it's a sliding scale, right? It is. So, but that's the idea behind it. And, and so, my my idea is basically that, like, we can deal with this world without initiating force against each other, right? So, like, the police come out here, they hand you a ticket for having a beer or something like that. They're threatening you. They're threatening to kill you, really, right? They're like, do what I say or I'm going to motherfucking kill you, right? I don't think that, like, the world necessarily needs to work like that in most cases. You know, clearly, like, if you come break into my house, I carry a gun. I'm going to shoot you dead, man. Exactly. I carry a gun. I have a gun in my house. You can break into my house. I'm not trying to figure out why the fuck they came in there. It's my fucking house. So I have the right to defend. What are you yeah. doing? Here? I'm not going to wait until you fuck my daughter to understand why you fucking broke into my house. So I got the right to kill a man break into my house, right? So I believe in defense of person and property. Right? That's all you deserve. But that's what, that's, if you are on free property and you're bringing a man. As American freedom, we deserve that much. As a human and they being, don't, and they fuck don't, America. And they never do give it to us. You know, you know uh, even if, Maybe if you're in Texas. As a human being, I have every right to defend myself wherever I am. And if the government in another place oppresses me, then that just means they violate my rights. You know what I mean? If I live in North Korea, do I have less rights? The safe thing about it is that they call it free, but we're not that free. But think about this, though. Like, if I live in America or I yeah. live in North Korea, do I have less rights in one place than the other? No. no. My rights are my rights. It has nothing to do with my geography. I have rights, right? So, so if I live in America and the police violate my rights, or I live in North Korea and the police violate my rights, it's the same story. You know what I mean? It's the same exact story. They have no right to fuck with my right to own a gun, to defend myself, to keep my property, to, to do any of these things, right? It's important that we stand up yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And nobody does, brother. You know, you're going to realize in the course of life, well, you're going to realize over the course of your life, you're going to start voting, you're going to start talking. Now, what do you think about the Michael Brown case? 
You think that cop's a cop check of shooting him dead? So here's what I'm going to say. I don't think there should be the police force that exists. Yeah. Okay? So clearly... They have a militarization of police right now. Well, but let's think, think kind of about this stuff. for a second, though. So, so honestly, like, I'm not, I don't want to stand up for this cop. I hate being the guy who stands yeah, yeah, up for yeah. police because yeah. I'm handing out these flyers, right? Yeah. right. The fact of the matter is, like... What I understand about it, and I'm not entirely sure that, that kid I'm correct, was a thug. They believe he that. fucking yeah. walked into yeah. the store, he, he did rob a store, store yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they fucking, he's walking down the middle of the motherfucking street, and he was fucked up, and, and the cop was like, hey, get out of the street, and then he's seen, he seen the cigars, and then he's like, hey, did you rob, you know, investigate the store robbery? He said, if you step any closer, I'm going to shoot you, and kept going. And the kid came at the armed cop, look. Gentlemen, I carry a gun, okay? Yes, yes. If a if a motherfucker is gonna walk gun, up to you and come start up a, to you. I'm not yeah. getting a fist fight with a gun on my hip. You know what I'm saying? So like if a motherfucker is gonna come kick my fucking ass while I got a gun, I gotta worry about this motherfucker taking my gun. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why a guy who's got a gun on his hip shoots a motherfucker who wants to kick his ass. Right? This is my understanding of what happened with Michael Brown. So I the truth of the matter is, like I'm really happy to I have believe people doing all sorts of negative things about the police down there. The cop deserved to himself in that case. I, I don't believe think the that. Cop had a lot of people called that guy, the cop a scumbag. But he was unarmed, though, too. At the same time, he but was unarmed. Is, a big motherfucker. He's, he's 290 pounds bad. and yeah. 6 foot 4. He's coming at you the cop. A little guy who has his pounds. gun, he has a pepper spray. I got a gun, and you're going to come kick my fucking ass, dude? I'm not going to wait and get my ass kicked and find out if you take my gun and shoot me, right? But how many times have you shot, though, too? Well, Maybe you shoot as many times as it takes to stop the motherfucker from coming. They shot him pretty bad. They I'm shot him a whole bunch of times, but the thing is, like, look, if I look, if you shoot a motherfucker once, you might as well shoot him eight, nine times. Like, you, when you shoot somebody, bro, the idea is to kill, kill the motherfucker. Them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you're getting him in the leg, you to stun him, or you kill him. I'm gonna tell you, like, like, you just think about it for yeah. a minute, right? If you are in a position where you gotta shoot somebody, you better be fixing to kill that motherfucker because you can't. You know, the only reason you ever shoot you can shoot somebody. It's either you shoot him to stun him, it's in the leg of the fall, and the story, and the story that I heard also is that like the guy, he shot him more than once, and the guy. I kept coming as he was shooting, so he kept on shooting. That's the understanding oh, he that was I have of it. Out, man. So the thing is, like, look, I don't, I don't like being the guy who stands up for cops. Clearly, I'm here to shut the police down. That's why I'm here. Yeah, you seem to have like a tripod in your hand. Yeah, I'm, I, I record police. I'm not here to record you guys, but you no, know, I the police that come up here. YouTube. I watch that. Yeah, we do this all the time. So the idea is if the police come around and fuck you guys up or do some bad shit to you, the idea is I'm out here, I got a radio, my friends will come, we'll get different angles, everything. You know, the idea is to prevent the police from causing you guys trouble. Yeah, from, from, the viol from violating our rights. Violating our rights. Right. Yeah, which they do, do. And so the... A lot. <laughs> so, a lot. So I don't like being the guy who stands up the police, but what I think was happening in Ferguson is hey, fucked up. There's nothing wrong with that, though. That's, that's fucking honorable. Thank you very much. So, I think what's happening in Ferguson is fucked up. I think people are trying to tie it to race. This is what I call race baiting, right? Where they say, oh, white guy killed a black guy. Now there's going to be a black uprising. Look, I understand why black people are pissed off at a lot of fucking things, but I don't think that this is... Like, I don't think it was at a race. I think that if, I think look, if, if it was a, if, if if it was a big white dead, man, if it was a big white man all cracked out, it would have been the same. Right. If somebody ends up dead and your primary concern is race, then I think that you're a racist, right? This is my it's opinion very true. Of it, right? It's very true. So people are screaming out, white cop, black kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, well, this is a bunch of racial shit that has nothing to do with how I see the world, right? Because I don't give a fuck if you black or white. If, you, if a cop kill a white boy, I'm actually pretty fucking pissed off about that shit, too. And, you know, and if, if he guy, killed, If he killed an innocent black kid that was just going to school and that was unarmed, I mean, it's different when a big kid's walking, man. So you just yeah. walk in and you shot him dead. You're a fucking, you're an asshole. Yeah. You just killed an innocent person. I don't care if you're black, straight, gay. Also, I, yeah. My thing is, anyone, I literally don't care yeah. about yeah. race or Gen sexuality or whatever. Like, I have gay friends, right? And like, That's I'm not I, one of these guys life. who puts it's them life. up like on like a pedestal and yeah. they're like, oh, it's so great that you're gay. I don't give a fuck who you fucking asshole, you know? I don't give a fuck if your skin is fucking black or white. No, it doesn't make you better. It doesn't make you worse. It just makes you you. I don't know. This is life, man. You're doing your own thing. It's I'm cool. exactly. if, you're, if, you, if you're an evil person, then you deserve to be brought in the way. If you're a good man and you're fucking doing all the anyway, right listen, things. I, I, I really appreciate it. So oh, thank you. But I'm going to go catch my friends. No, seriously, you're an honorable guy. I like you. Thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah, thank you. Check out.
have the website on there, and uh, and there's information how to contact us and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you guys have problems, you let and us not, know. Not to, we'll like, come. not to stall you or anything, but like, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I like this talk, though. Seriously. Yeah. I really appreciate it's it, man. Very, it's very rare. I yeah. have this thoughts all the time. I, I look up on the Yeah, I do. I, I see I stuff do. on the computer. You know, you can get involved in what we do. We'll yeah. really be happy to have you along. You guys can come hang with us. We have a blast. We have parties. I mean, we're, we're a fucking fun group of people to hang thank out with, dude. We'd love to have you come here. Free State Project? I think on there is Keen Cutlock. Is is that on there? Let me just double check, right? Yeah, oh, freekeen.com is on there. Through freekeen.com, you can definitely contact Ian, who is just here. I'm not freekeen, but you can contact Ian, and Ian will get you involved. In Your name? Do. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. Christopher Canwell. That's my name. It's a pleasure to meet both of you guys. Get in touch with us through freekeen. That that way you'll reach Ian. You can if you tell him uh, I want to talk to Chris, he'll get you in touch with me directly. Uh, and, and I'd love to, like, hang with you guys, bro. You guys seem like chill people. We have a blast. We do parties. We, we Ian owns the house across the street from me. I run the house across the street from him. I'm not a I'm 33 years old, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm beyond grades, you know. But, uh, but I, I, I was, uh, I'm a high school dropout. I got my GED in jail. And, uh, and I did a little bit of time in college, but I was like, I gave up on the government education system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told myself that I'm an IT professional by trade just today. Your life around. I'm a computer just geek. You. I'm a computer geek and an activist is my thing now. So, it's good, no, you know, yeah, it worked out. You. It worked out pretty well for me, man. And I hope it works out, you know, this way for everybody. That's in any nice, case, man. I gotta go. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very, very much for your time. You guys have been a pleasure. Christopher to Cantwell. Thank That's you, me. Thank you, man. Thank you guys have a wonderful yeah, afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever. Whatever the fuck it is now. <laughs> uh, this is Riddleist. I am heading back towards Winchester Street on Blake. I'd like to catch back up with my friends. Uh, this is Riddleist. I am heading back towards Winchester Street on Blake. I'd like to catch back up with my friends. I haven't found Griffin at all, man. He's got to be in these, like these side streets, painting all these open containers. Probably up near Water Street. Ian's right there. Hmm. Ian's 
Randall's right there, right in front of Randall. Okay. And there's Derek to our left. Yep, I see Derek. Ladies, you know your rights to dealing with the police? You already got it? Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. What time is it? Come back out. What time is it? Time is. I don't have my phone out. Like your 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 impression is that we'll get through all of those flyers and then so. That's what your impression no, of this evening. You might want to save some for next weekend myself. because you want to get the new students. <laughs> I have a classroom too. I, I have. Uh, you you got to understand the um, trunk. That's where I got those. You got to understand these are just freshmen today. Next week you're not even going to be able to move through these sidewalks. Great. Dude. Great. I can't wait. There's gonna be like What time what time is it? I don't have a phone on me. I'll it's, look on my phone. Hold on. It doesn't matter. I'll take us back and then bring us back in like a Okay, what the fuck is my phone? I feel like taking a trip back. I gotta use the can and everything. Alright. Can you watch Ian's back? Yeah, I got Ian's back. Alright. Yeah. Hey you got um we're taking a break, you need anything? Yeah, can you grab me a soda? Yes. Yeah, Actually, is that store open still? Yeah, I'll grab a soda right now. I need a mountain dew. Yeah, I'm making a round down Main Street here. It's uh, almost two. All right. Keep, yeah, keep if, an eye on him if you want. Yeah, I will. If you want to stay home and you don't want to come back out and it's too late and you want to crash, it's okay. I'm used to being out, man. I just needed help earlier with all those cops, man. No, I, I appreciate the call. Anytime. You know, put it out, especially if something's heavy is happening. Well, can, I listen, can, this is why I listen to the radio, that even if I'm not going to go out for the general thing, if something pops off, it is a distress signal, anything like that. Yeah, well, I'm, you can I'm, count on next week. They're going to have undercovers out, plain clothes. You, you, you bet, man. We've got like 2,000 kids all right. out there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan on being here next all week. All right, man. Then, okay? Thank you for coming on, man. Thank, I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for putting me on to it, dude. You, yeah. you're, 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 what you're doing is really important, dude. So thank you so I much. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Coming back out right there? Yeah. Uh, free talk, this is brutal. Is Denver Dan and I are going to run back to headquarters. I am going to call it an evening. Uh, Damper Dan is going to be coming back. I just figured I'd put you uh, on notice, and uh, Centurion is coming to watch you back. Uh, free talk, this is brutal. Is Denver Dan and I are going to run back to headquarters. I am going to call it an evening.
Evening, folks. Cops. Wait, just like cops in general or like kind of watching them or like what are you doing? We're trying to prevent cops from harming people. Don't they already have to be videotaped? No. I got a paper today, don't worry, is that what you're You already doing? got the flyer? I got the flyer. Alright, I gotta get over and catch you them, go. okay? Run, run, run. I'm out of breath. But my friends are closer.